Greetings, Ashen here. Today we're going to be doing an indie comics review of Wirehead from Robert Geronimo, probably best known for his work on the Blood Realm series at Alterna Comics. As usual, this is going to be a brief overview of the story, so if you like what you hear, you are definitely going to want to pick up the full graphic novel. Well, now let's get into it. The story starts here with Wirehead stalking two teens through the woods. You could see his powerful strength by just tossing this car to the side. As they're both running, unfortunately, the cameraman slips into a pit and his companion, Nancy, seemingly gets away. But the cameraman, he is left to his dreadful fate at the hands of Wirehead. Please remain calm. In a car here, we can see a whole new group of teens, four of them, three girls and a boy, that are driving. They seem to be lost, maybe they missed a turn or something, and oh boy, they got into an accident, hit a tree. That's no good. But the guy who is driving fortunately can see somebody is up the way. Hey, can you help us? We're in a bit of trouble here, the car's broken down. Do you require my assistance? Unfortunately, the person that they see is Wirehead, and quickly they find out he has come to do what he does best, crushing some heads and scaring some folks. So the three girls run away. The one known as Sam seems to get away pretty good, but oh, the two friends, they end up in a pit. However, is that really the worst fate? Sam gets grabbed up by Wirehead. She is helpless, about to be killed by his mighty metal hands. When BLAM! He gets shot. Fortunately for her, a woodsman stumbled by and protected her with his shotgun. Recalibration complete in five, four, three, two. While Wirehead is recalibrating, the two of them escape to the woodman's cabin. However, Sam quickly finds out that this cabin isn't a safe place for her. She finds somebody who she's never met before. It turns out that this woodman abducted Nancy and has been keeping her in the house, blaming her and anyone else who comes into the wood for this metal monster waking up. The girls don't have to worry for long as Wirehead bursts into the house. He smashes through the woodman, ending his reign of terror. And now Nancy and Sam take off into the woods to escape the chaos. In the pit, Sam's two friends stumble across this camera, which was previously carried by Nancy's friend, who knows what gruesome fate he had. And they begin to find out how all this started. Fortunately, Sam and Nancy show up to help the other two girls out of the pit. But the reunion is short-lived as Wirehead shows up again, stopping Sam from saving her friends. The two girls are forced to run into the closest thing by, a crazy old looking mansion. With all the madness happening, all the rumors must be true as the two girls enter the mansion and see robotics everywhere. The mad scientist must be real and the girls are all caught in his web. Anyway, that's about halfway through the story. If you thought that was cool, you're definitely going to love the climax. I haven't even touched on the craziness that happens later. So if you're expecting a fast-paced, thriller-killer storyline with some crazy stuff going on, then this is going to be the book for you. Anyway, I hope you all found this review and storytelling helpful. A link to the book will be in the description below. And I hope you all have a great day. Yes.